20 minutes. Otherwise, you'll hear the sound. I want to thank um, the institutions, the organizers, and logically all of you who are here uh, to listen to us today. It's very, very important uh, for all stakeholders uh, to be active in this field of cybersecurity. I have divided my presentation into three different parts. I will start telling you about our center, our objectives, what we have managed so far, uh, what uh, collaboration we have with other public institutions and stakeholders. And then the last part of my presentation will be how we envisage the future, or we hope the future will look like. So this is what we are like. This is what we are. I just want you uh, to first and foremost understand uh, that we, we don't compete uh, with private companies, with the private sector. We are a public institution uh, that wants to have all necessary means uh, so private companies uh, can do better in this field. We are part of our cybersecurity center, rather, SIUR. Uh, is led by SPRI, the Basque uh, Development Agency that focuses mostly on businesses. So that's core for us. We want uh, the Basque country, our region, uh, to be a leading region in the field of cybersecurity. That's why I will tell you about different initiatives and experiences uh, in the Basque country uh, that have been set in motion uh, to make that possible. And yet, we can't stop at uh, our environment, our situation here. Uh, collaboration with other countries and regions is paramount in our field. I'm going to be covering my presentation uh, very fast uh, because of the short time we've been given. Our center uh, will be a cybersecurity center uh, within the CERT framework in Spain. Here we can see the services uh, that we will be providing. For instance, uh, we will be working hand in hand with industrial companies, obviously, but also with critical infrastructures. We also want to promote entrepreneurship, uh, research and innovation, uh, education and training. Those would be the main topics we intend to cover. Let me tell you now about our services, um, and I will separate them into different the different sectors. Let me start with education and training. We know that cybersecurity, uh, the main problem in the field of cybersecurity is uh, the lack of experts, or the shortage, rather, of experts, and um, even more so. Uh, the shortage of uh, tech of women uh, in technical fields in general and in cybersecurity in particular. This is a very serious problem uh, that we can't solve uh, immediately, but firms need uh, solutions uh, here and now. Here we can see the one of our products, the white book on supply in the field of cybersecurity, whether it's in the private sector, in the private sector, in academia, it would be more like an atlas uh, to map uh, what we're doing here and now before we start working more actively with uh, people from afar. Another important uh, activity for us uh, will be launching the first cybersecurity program in the Basque Country. With a very small uh, funding to start off with, only 600,000 euros, but we are hoping that that will help some companies at least to start taking the necessary initial steps in the field of cybersecurity, like um, a little bit of an initial push for them. I want to highlight uh, that uh, 
Basque institutions uh, have made an effort in the digital hub to be able to face those challenges, uh, which are not so much of a problem for larger companies because of uh, access to funding and because of knowledge. But let's not forget that 80% uh, of companies in the Basque country, country are SMEs, and those are the ones that tend to have more difficulties in fields like cybersecurity and digitization which is why uh, we think uh, this hub will be particularly useful for them, for SMEs. Here we can see the infrastructure uh, that uh, we have right now in the Basque country with different working groups, different nodes, we call them, robotics, 3D printing, uh, big data, digital solutions, and so on. You can see that uh, the idea is that uh, resources in companies uh, can be then connected or interconnected so that uh, SMEs in particular or firms in general uh, can take advantage uh, of not just their own equipment but everybody else's and so that when companies uh, want to improve uh, their uh, cybersecurity status, they can contact us at Spree and uh, also any of our stakeholders, including uh, industrial institutes, technology centers, different stakeholders. For instance, we're now uh, working already with flexible robotics and additive manufacturing. Probably before the summer, uh, the cybersecurity node uh, will be up and running. We have uh, our center uh, at the Mignano Technology Park, where uh, thanks to uh, the work and investment uh, that have been made, they can test their products or services. They can also uh, use, as I said, the means and resources from the pool of other members. Let me now tell you about uh, who we collaborate with. We collaborate with INCIBE. Uh, we heard in the previous presentation what they do, and we're working together to respond to cyber attacks with early warning systems. INCIBE will also be our main sponsors uh, for us to be cer uh, cert certified. Another uh, partnership, which is basic for us in Siemens, um, we will soon uh, sign our final agreement with Siemens Gamesa uh, because we want to work with them on cybersecurity. That will be a very important driver for us that will also benefit other companies. Here we have our two main sponsors for first certification. We won't just be working with them on first certification, uh, but also with uh, on many other topics. For instance, with Siemens, uh, we're working on su supply chain issues. A fundamental uh, partner is EXO, as Luigi explained very well. Uh, they're very important for us at a number of different levels. For instance, investments. Uh, we uh, have uh, made available for to them our ac digital accelerator for companies uh, in the 4.0 field. Uh, we have been working with EXO on investment, on SMEs and the regions, on cybersecurity, ATLAS, on training and education. Now, talking about our ATLAS, uh, we're working with uh, the network, Senet, so that uh, in future it will be companies. Right now is just technology centers that who want to um, 
be active in European projects. We're working with EXO and finding it very, very useful. We will hear uh, tomorrow in one of the presentations uh, about the cyber, the industrial cyber security center uh, that will soon be up and running. And uh, we are w already working with them uh, through the clusters. We have 14 different working groups there. We are now diagnosing uh, the, s the status of cybersecurity in the Basque Country. We also work uh, with DOT US. Uh, we have a collaboration agreement uh, that we have signed with them, and uh, we're also developing tools to better monitor uh, cyber attack risk uh, in private homes. It's very early days uh, for us uh, in this sense, uh, but we are very hopeful about the future. We're also working with Privatua. Uh, we have already signed agreements with them as well. And SAI, also uh, the Association of Private Companies working on cybersecurity. Because security it used to be something physical, uh, or then security and safety, but now it's more and more cybersecurity. We're also working uh, with uh, the center for uh, working on digital uh, gender issues. Uh, we know that cyber bullying uh, is a huge problem with teenagers for us here in the Basque Country, and uh, we're, we're working on it with them. There's a standing uh, committee uh, in the Basque government. Uh, we're working with them uh, through the technology centers. At the cybersecurity center, uh, we also collaborate with the regional ministry for um, economic development, uh, with the Basque police, uh, with the Association for Information in the Basque Country. I just wanted to give you a quick overlook of different types of collaborations and partnerships uh, we have. We uh, have had meetings, for instance, with uh, the Employers Association here in the Basque Country, and that's looking very positive. Uh, we work very, very closely with the Basque Cluster, and I just wanted to at least mention the National um, Seminar on Cybersecurity that will be held in June this year, led by Mondragon University. We've been working also with local associations. We can see a list of them here. So, as I said, just to give you an idea uh, of the uh, broad-ranging types of stakeholders that we collaborate with. And first and foremost, uh, we uh, have been and will be collaborating with SIUR, the Gipuzkoan Initiative, uh, that will give so much added value and competitiveness to uh, this comprehensive goal uh, that we all have. It's, uh, we're very young uh, at our center, and uh, we don't think that's uh, a difficulty. Uh, both you and us uh, will be full of hope for the future of uh, the Basque Country. We want uh, the Basque Country to be the hyper security hub uh, for Southern Europe. How? Well, we need. Uh, good projects, good drivers uh, that are already beginning. We will have to have uh, a solid supply of products and services. Uh, we need training and education. Uh, we need entrepreneurship. Uh, we need R&D, uh, where we have the know-how and experience, which is all well and good, but we also need help uh, from outside the Basque Country. Uh, one of the fields is investment. Uh, we will hear, uh, we will soon hear about uh, a project on cybersecurity uh, with huge investment uh, that um, will soon be coming to the Basque Country. 
we can do it. Uh, we can be role models. We can be uh, that hub uh, in Europe. It will be hard work, but it, w it is possible. That's all from me. Thank you very much for your attention.